All right, welcome back, Squad Ops is back here. Round two, Operation Nitro coming up here in a few minutes. Looks like uh, all the squads are starting to spawn in. Squad leaders are sorting out the kits. You hear the command in the background there. He's having a little command brief over there with his squad leaders. And pretty soon we'll get to hear his platoon brief so you guys can figure out what they're doing. It's Operation Nitro. Uh, this is an operation that we're running just for the month of October. So after tonight, it's never coming back. It might come back next year. It might come back if popular demand demands it. But uh, it's part of the uh, operations that we're having in October, which are kind of one and done. They're kind of the uh, scary ops we have. So this is just one of them. Wednesday, we have uh, Operation Metal Monsters, which is going to be a fun one. If you can't guess, it's on Yehurivka. So there's going to be some uh, track vehicles, I think. I hear there's going to be track vehicles on that one. Multiple. And then uh, Saturday, we have Rising Ghosts, which is an, another one and done op. So if you want to check them out, check them out. Watch the watch the VODs after they're posted. So won't be able to see these kind of things again for the year. If you're interested in joining uh, Squad Ops for our events, you have to uh, complete SOTT Basic. And all that information is found on our website, squadops.gg. Uh, be sure to join our Discord if you've got questions. We've got a lot of helpful community staff there. We got an overview here of the little recon squad that's going to move out. Looks like they're going to head out to Moscow. Here. So this is one of the ops that uh, that we came up with for the month of October. And I think we're going to get the overlay up here pretty soon. Let's just go over what uh, what it, what's going to be happening here. It's basically the U.S. is going to be looking for a bomb makers workshop, and on the map, those are the uh, the red circles there or green circles or whatever. Uh, the U.S. also gets to set up a cop on those blue circles, so they get to choose one of those. And uh, the U.S. gets uh, two ARs, one GL medic. They also get a MRAP and a Logi to supply that cop, and they can set up mortars on that uh, cop. And the recon team gets two squad leader kits. The INS gets two AR, one light, a raider, a medic. Uh, the bomb maker cell gets four scouts, and the bomb maker cell starts at his workshop. So there's that map. You can see what generally is going on here. The uh, U.S. starts on the uh, east side. The INS starts on the west. Bomb maker starts his workshop. Recon starts at Mosque. So basically, the U.S. just needs to find that, that workshop. And then once they do, they can either eliminate the HVT, which is the bomb maker himself, and he's marked by a G3 rifle, or they can take down the uh, FOB itself which is a representative of his, of his workshop and his supplies. So it looks like we can see the uh, bomb maker cell showing up right now. Uh, let's get this sorted out here. Why is it not behaving for me? All right, here we go. Let's listen up to the INS for brief. Jenga, put it away. Jenga, put it away. Don't do that. They, they will okay, kick you on site. Clear comms. Two squads. Uh, squad one. Squad one, you're going to step to me. You're going to be on Bob duty. Copy. I want squad two sprinting. I want squad two and three sprinting up to the, uh, actually just squad two sprint up to the, uh, the old location. So any Bob Mark, that's where uh, squad two is going to go. Squad three, you're going to push over to that compound. All right. Then squad four is going to go to the one south of us. Okay. We're just going to sprint there. As yeah. fast as we can. And we're just going to dig in and hold. I'll Use your rifleman sandbags. Just dig in and hold, okay? Okay, I'm going to go over this. All right, don't remove marks. All right, clear comms. We're going to start. Yeah, don't remove marks. Evan or Pony, make it do the battle cry. Squad 1, you're going to be on the hab mark. You're going to be sprinting there. You're going to be right, defense Jack, duty. I'm going to tell the uh, U.S. recon team that they may move. Okay, rifleman <laughs> mark in H743. That's squad 3. 
The hat mark south of the fob is going to be squad 4. Friendly wow, fob mark so is going to be squad 2. Any questions? Ask your squad leaders if you... Okay, wait, wait. I didn't say we're done. Now on 3, we're going to say we don't take no L's, alright? 3, 2, 1. We don't take no L's. <laughs> I don't think Jermo gets it. I want, I want five more times. God damn it. Holy crap. Wow, that was pretty good. It's like watching a fountain. <laughs> <laughs> they had like three guys up there last round. Yeah, I'm not going to be having to look out right now, though. It'd be a bit cheap. All right. Well, the recon has reached their, uh, their location. This tower's got a pretty good view of everything out here in the So that's why they get to set up at first. Try to formulate these operations around uh, somewhat real-life situations. I mean, the U.S. just wouldn't send out a platoon into the field without having some kind of intelligence. Let's see where the, uh, the ball maker has decided to set up his workshop. You heard Evan SMA give a little brief to all the squads. All right. Well, it looks like we'll they're probably going to set it up here in this compound. I was just saying, creeping squad are really good at dancing. We'll see what happens. I don't know if the U.S. is going to do a platoon brief or not. Might just fly over there, see what they kind yeah. of train yeah. they have okay. to walk over here. Cool. Get this giant river through the middle of the map, kind of divides it up. Same. Most of the action is going to take place on the south side. You're on Satan right now. He's one of the squad leaders for the U.S. Nice. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're gonna do. You see the uh, red fob mark on the map? Yep. Alright, that uh, red fob mark is where we're going to secure the cop compound. After, we're all going to form a platoon line across the entire area. And we're just going to fucking walk until we hit contact. Then the flanks are going to wrap around to envelop the compound. Copy. Like a snake kind of thing? Yeah, kind of like a snake, but this is like a platoon line, so it's gonna like envelop... It's it's gonna be like Pac-Man eating, eating a fucking god. <laughs> what? It's a good analogy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very good analogy. <laughs> Copy. Copy. Yeah. Any, Copy. any questions? Uh, Moth is AFK. Utilizing mortars. We will be. Uh, that's a state. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh. I had to finish my Fleetwood Mac documentary. Oh. It's fine. For a fact, I fucking God, beat mortars. God damn it, Moth! I have to explain this brief all over again. Enough. <laughs> right, I'm Moth, sorry. If, if you open your map, you see the uh, green arrow. Negative. Mark. I'm just wondering, are are you? I assume the recon All right, squad, that's going to be our cop location. The, fob the entire place. platoon is going to go um, and clear yeah, that probably, location. Yeah, probably, well, it's gonna be After, no, our, we're going to create an entire platoon line own. across Sorry, did we the have little island who was gonna and take just two? push until we hit contact. Uh, the squad that hits contact is going to harden up uh, while yeah, the, rest of the squads or the flanks are going to envelop the uh, compound, like kind of like Pac-Man. Yeah, so it's going to be, again, to reiterate, Sleep south, Check come up at Mosque, meet at Mosque, clear compound, I-754, 
Question. Uh, <laughs> set up COP there, and then sweep southwest until we've hit you on the ground's end. Yes, uh, the enemy. you remind us where the exfil location is. If I get eyes on where the It'll enemy be the uh, is coming compo. out of immediately, I'm just gonna say oh, fuck that to that plan. We're gonna sweep in as quickly as possible, try and get in there and fuck them up. Copy. So where exactly yard, do you, you want uh, another yard? Which yard will the boys go to? Um, a what? You what? Go what? Out of the and you'll probably sit. Um, Hold on, I didn't hear you. Muff. Being marked right now. What's in the first yard? All right. Copy. You put a milkshake in one yard What's and you crack a the, cold uh, one in the other yard. Uh, uh, which yard will the boys the go to? They'll, they'll tear milkshake. down the fence between the two. Well, is this a Saturday? <laughs> I create one. Uh, uh, what if like there's houses live between the yards? <laughs> Burn those uh, down too. Be shaking that milk all day. I'd go to the cold ones. I'd go where the cold right, ones guys. were cracked. Let's yeah, go. Too. Then I'd buy Krusty the first one. Mhm. Mm Let's join this squad and just act like, like we have. Hey, Medrick, uh, what's guys, up, dude? How'd you do round one? Was it good? So if you are close really good, me, save your Nice, dude! And I blew up the MRAP, so that was cool. For... So... Oh, I saw a That was really fun. Close. Have plenty, so I'm Wait. sure I'm not going to use all. Buff, aren't you off? Did any of you, like, what? watch? Yeah, yeah so what? He's too cool for tags. No. Okay. Oh, it was funny. Okay. I've been, right, I've been admin on the server, so I don't want to like make it obvious. Did, uh, squad briefs. In case I have to go well, to get the information. Incidents. Yeah. Bye. Sounds like Bye. the U.S. is just going to do a full platoon push, and then from there launch the entire platoon towards the uh, and Satan recorded day workshop. Is. Funny. You, you, you guys are cool. Based on the last round, it's probably up. a pretty wise decision. Flying over towards the INS. They put that. Oh, yeah. They've picked this compound right here. There's the workshop itself. And it's probably your bomb maker right there. And his little apprentice scouts are here. Probably going to fan out and uh, put down some mines, maybe, and put down some IEDs. Looks like the INS has opted to use the full spawn on the uh, radio over here. Radio station. So we got almost a lot of red INS guys moving out. Let's take those arrows off. Oh, thank God, there's an opening. Bravo, spread out a little more. Stay on this road, just slow along. All right, you're on Merrick now. He's driving the same wrap here. Let's do this. Yeah, we have to use a bridge. Loop back. Slow along. Left. Turn left. Let's talk about the same wrap, right? It's a new vehicle. We haven't seen this a lot in. The Fence. Slightly uh, upgraded version of Humvee. This was the open top version. It's got some good armor. Could take a few lats, at least a little bit more damage than the Humvee could. Uh, this, this particular one can seat five guys. So, you guys seem to like this one better than the Humvee. It's a real beast, though, to drive around, I'll tell you that. The view out the front window is terrible. Looks like this convoy is going to be going to, through the north road here. Should we just rush this bridge ahead and then just do it right next time? Take it slow, take it slow. Looks like that MRAP has stopped up. I'm trying to watch from mine too. It's the first to our front to the left, okay? And you can see the full US platoon there way in the distance. Got this MRAP and Lodgy over here. Looks like they're going to risk coming oh, down this bridge here. It's interesting. 
There. All right. Holds. 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 I think this might be a scout here. And it looks like they have not set a mine yet. Oh boy. Looks like somebody flipped a Lodgy over here and the MRAP destroyed it. This INS squad down here looks like they're going to try to set up an ambush. There's your lat guy right there. Oh, here he goes. Command, uh, comp is approaching Mosque. Would you like us to push straight through to that India 7 keypad 5 compound? He lost sight of it. It's right there. Where you've got the steer. Oh, there's the Lodgy. We could deliver a real blow with the Lodgy. We won't be able to get a cop up. Look at this. Good. Yeah, yeah, right there. Last right there. I just Ooh, that's a right hit. There. That lat just went down. I want you guys to sweep down to where my guys are. Uh, no, we have to turn around. Turn around behind the uh, vehicle, behind the building here. Damien, I'll move and then you do a three pointer. Looks like the looks like the MRAP is. And it comes down. I don't know what they're doing over there. That squad dismounted from the MRAP and the Lodgy. Yeah, looks like they took a wrong turn. Looks like they're going to probably try to set up the cop maybe in gas station here. This location right here. No, this isn't Karma. I think Karma went out paintballing today and took a, a couple to the throat. So he's not commentating tonight. And INS has spread themselves out through these compounds. Let's get these, uh, get the red, red highlights so I can see what's going on here. Uh, oh, that was a long distance slat shot trying to get those guys. Roger, There's the full US platoon. Looks like they're coming down this road. You want us to go ahead and get lined up north or two? All right, no, 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 no. We're changing plans. We're gonna go far south. If you guys are just tuning in, this is uh, Squad Ops. Uh, we play the game of Squad. We run one life in it. Uh, Got some special rules to make it kind of tense for the guys on the ground. Hotel seven, keypad six, sub nine, so we just had a little bit of contact, but I don't think we're gonna have a little bit anymore for a few minutes. A Looks like the US is kind of sorting himself on some kind of a platoon line or maybe something here. I'm going to try to push into these, uh, what they suspect is the Bowmaker's compound. This is one of the locations they need to investigate. This is another one over here. And this one is where the actual Bowmaker's cell is right now. So their objective is to either destroy this fob inside this radio equipment here, or take out the HVT, which is the uh, Bowmaker himself. And he's the only one that has the G3 rifle. So, as soon as they kill him or take out that equipment, they can exfil wherever they decided to put down their thing. I'm trying to take a look here where they're building their uh, cop. Looks like they may have chosen this compound here. Yes, they have, and they're building a mortar right now. Does anybody want to operate the mortar? This is a completely volunteer, volunteer thing. thing. It needs to be voluntold. When you get on that mortar, get that thing talk. All right. How's it going, one? Does anybody want to try it? Oh, boy! Uh, 
Wow, this MRAP is shooting friendlies in the Mosque Tower. Oh, some jittery boots here on the ground. Good thing you can't aim. Good thing he's jittery. <laughs> Because I hit my target. Well, he's angry. I cannot see right because of the angle of the truck, but I can see 12 o'clock. I'm cold. You guys going to get to the lodgy now. Well, that'll be a part of the after action report. All right. So the INS, the squad here is kind of spread out in these fields to cover the north flank. Looks like uh, what the INS is doing here. Let's see where they put down their. Uh, I keep doing that. Let's see what they do with your IDs. Looks like they put one here, maybe one here, and one here. This might actually might be a mine. Well, they're going to let them close in, and then as soon as they get on these walls, they're going to blow them. Let's take a look. I can't see this, this ID down here. Hey, Command, do you want uh, a, my MRAP to support the uh, Lodgy when it's. Where, uh, where is it? Oh, if I can't see it, the user is not going to be able to see it, so that's going to be a deadly. Hmm. There it is, right there, buried in the rocks. Command, I do have one person stay top right. Alright, you're on Schmidty right now. Throw that U.S. squad to the south. Let me clear it. Let me clear it. They're doing a wide flank to the south. It looks like. Shit now, come on now. Got the entire platoon behind him. Would you like the uh, adjustments on that mortar fire to come from me or to come through your squad? Um, this isn't a bad approach. Use this ravine over here. If you can get up behind him, but it looks like the INS me. Hey, Crusty, you might want to check him out. I don't know. We should we should probably keep like a line along this uh, from the Guys, wall keep to the hotel A. Keep five. to the edge of the map. Yeah, Satan, let's go ahead and get one Lodgy run in real quick. Uh, if they hook it north and then east... Yeah, not much is happening right now, that's for sure. Uh, they had a little initial... Yeah, doing it. it looks like the, I, the INS is uh, set in their spots, and then the U.S. is doing a kind of a wide flank here on the south. So it might be another minute or two before we start seeing some small arms, but... This isn't a bad play. The U.S. has got, I think, probably three squads here. Let's take a look at the map. We've got squad three, four, two, yep. Uh, they got uh, 27 guys moving across the, the ravine here. They're going to probably do a full push right, right up the uh, the gut here of the INS defenses. Squad is hitting a uh, hotel A keep at five. Copy. Try to secure the area for everyone else, and they'll push up along the wall. Bob is for uh, uh, forward operating for base. Just around the compound to get in, and we need to get in there and hit it hard and fast. Raj, uh, two can pull off north now and get ready to hit it from the east side. All right. Uh, you guys proceed as best you can, and uh, I'm, I'm going to leave it up to you guys for the most part. You're there on the ground. You've got more eyes than I do. Let's go ahead and take a look at this fob okay, thing here. Any, uh, large scale uh, movements. A couple ammo crates, radio, all right, uh, wait, all squads tins of ammo, the, uh, a couple of mags on top. At Hotel 7, so you guys can get in there quick and hit it hard. Should be good. Just avoid going on the northmost side of that compound. Is it the compound in Hotel 8, Keypad 7? I know, it's just Keypad moving around in here. Three. Yep, that's where they are. I'm getting kind of nervous. Where their lodgy drove out from. Copy. That, uh, that fob or forward operating base in Vanilla Squad. No, there's still someone in the river. Ammo crates. I think it might be two squads. Oh, they're coming to us. They're coming to us now. All right, remember, guys, we have these compounds. We're using all four compounds. Grab hard corners. Yeah, I see a couple guys. I see a full squad coming to you, Simon. It's two squads. Yeah, I think the INS has eyes on to the front. Uh, maybe we should be looking to our north or south. Yeah. We, we got. Sorry, wrong comp. <laughs> I figured.
Okay, never mind. The fearless medic. All right, this this INS team is just waiting for the, the U.S. to push. Uh, command, I have eyes on the compound. If you're ready to send mortars. E anything sandbag wise? Far. Oh really? He just yeah. Yeah. He's getting ready to drop. He's oh, getting so ready he to drop. Geo? Does he have a geo? I I can't tell. Or he has his buy knocks out. Oh. Fuck, okay. Yeah. If you guys. Yep, you should see these like guys in the sandbags. I think they're gonna bring in some orders here. Guys! Well, the INS took the first shot. Are you in the game? Kenneth, are you still up? It's two rounds out. Oh my god! We're gonna use these two to, uh... Well, Odessa just lost yeah, one. Kenneth, Kenneth, down. We're sending mortars in. Nice. We'll avenge you, Kenneth! We're waiting for mortars. And here comes those mortars. What was that rocket, by the way? Was that aimed at us? Oh, right in the middle of the yeah. compound. Oh, shit. Okay. Three, that was, uh, I couldn't tell distance on that. Did you have any idea? Were they short or long? Uh, move one left. We've got another U.S. Oh, squad making up the wall, but they're back here at Camp Nasty. Yeah, yeah, so a nickname from the first round. Hopefully they don't try to push that compound, they avoid that. I see enemy infantry trying to pull back right now. You guys This is the contact you guys were seeing earlier. As soon as you can. Mortars are falling right in here. Always coming back in. Copy. Let us know if you want our infantry dismounted on you guys. Or uh just staying in the lodges. Uh probably have your infantry dismount. And uh, occupy compound. We sent a fire team to go help. Perfect deal. Push in, push in, push in. Begin the assault. Remember, watch the wall. I see the cheese grater, I don't see the sandbag wall. Do you? Negative, I don't. Oh, kind of. No, I don't. I don't see it. Hold on. Okay, never mind. Oh. Looks like the U.S. plan here is to mortar this compound, get the down, and then a Command, do you want uh, another run? No, actually not, uh, if you guys can. Maybe try and push up to Hotel 7. Oh, actually, no. See you sound mortars, Command. Just sick. Oh yeah! If he's in there, he's pissed. Co coming, coming. There's Muff trying to get some one taps. Looks like they may have GL'd that guy through the window. Yeah. The U.S. is trying to assault this compound, and it's the wrong compound. But let's see what they how they do here. They got three squads here. They should be should be able to clear this out with fair fairly easy. Whole lot of gunfire going on. A lot of action. Move, move, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Context across the river. Reloading. Guys, start pushing in. Come on. Move, move, move. There goes the US. Get into the inner compound now. 
Yeah, spread out. It's almost like a death trap in here. It's been really bad. Oh, they're doing fairly decent. You notice how they're doing it, though, but not one one person at a time. They're putting two or three guys in through a door and clearing left, right. A lot of aggression. Using some smoke to block the sight lines. Yep, Schmitty's down. Lost the squad leader. Move in, move in, move in. Clear it out. Now look at this. The INS is pulling off of their bomb maker fob yeah. and their side of the compound. So when the US is roaming around, they're gonna pick him off. Oh! This guy. Oh boy, yeah. Well, Muff just went down. Well, the U.S. has cleared his compound. They've got this INS squad that's... Yeah, negative radio silence. Did they have any form of defense? They're confused as to what's going on here. And the, uh, the workshop is to the north here. is telling you to pull south, they're going to end up running right into this INS squad. We're pulling out. Pull south. Pull south. Go, go, go. Roger. Hey, we're moving south. We still got one contact north. Come on, guys. This game. Contact southeast. Contact east. We got John. Simple time. Contact northeast. Well, the U.S. has picked them off, so that INS pushback has kind of been stalled. Two up, maybe three guys up from that. Just get a couple of U.S. trying to come out the doors. It's definitely dwindling the numbers here. I got it. The U.S. effectively has about one squad in this compound. You can just see the number of INS left over here in the actual compound. They got about one, two, three, four guys on the outside, so... Looks like, looks like they're reinforcing here with another squad. U.S. command is out in front here. Wasn't getting good intel. He's brought himself up to check it out. Yeah, wave week. If I had some other uh, indicators on, you could see see the their health bars. Turn them off so that you guys can see a little bit of action and see the bodies a little bit more because it's a little confusing with everything flying around.
Copy, standing by. Yeah, if you guys are interested in joining, check us out at squadops.gg. A lot of information on the website. Join our Discord. We ask that you go through SRTT Basic, which is a one-hour course we run, so that you can know how to perform in these ops. And then after that, you can start signing up and joining us. So this squad's hanging out in this compound. We've got the command squad over here that's moving up the fields. Recon experience here. You're okay. <laughs> right, cool. Yeah. Getting shot at? No. Negative. Uh, negative. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think they're going to be able to at least make it to the wall undetected. I, was watching this documentary about I don't think the INS has anybody Only looking out these windows. Check the map real quick. I thought that oh, this ID over here got blown. Early. See, they're all looking at you right now. Pretty so, much. what's the plan? We get up to the wall, throw nades, push in. No, we're gonna go to the wall, push the doors immediately. Push. Seven D one sub two. So I'm not up to you guys. Copy that. Tell us when they get up and charge. Oh, we're still crawling. All right, mortars are gonna go out in a second here. Yeah, I'm gonna be firing the mortar. Everyone else is full security. Oh. And Satan working the mortars. I think they're gonna call them in on this compound. Try and send you guys up the north, at least get an eye on what's going on. Alright, mortar's going out now. Command, make sure and cover. Need the mortar popping off. Three out. See where these land. All right, cool. That's all we're gonna need. All right, cool. That's all we're gonna need. As soon as those land, we're going. Be advised, I believe there's uh, sandbags and wire all over that northwest compound. Yeah. Probably where they're bothered. Go, go, go. Wow, that ID goes off. I think the plan was for the mortars to fall in the compact. They didn't. Flew way off target. And somebody opened up early, so they had to push to the wall, and now they're kind of faced with hanging out on the wall. I got one, I got one. Do you guys want another slash of mortars? Might be pretty, pretty close. Uh oh. Here comes an aid coming out. Oof. Ah, another squad leader goes down. Oh, here comes the <laughs> raider. Raider nades are coming out now. Yeah, we have a reinforced 
compound to our And the INS just have tons of nades, so they're just not you good. Yeah, I'm on. The ball maker brought all his toys out. Zimbari! Oh, smoke over here! I'm pinned! The squad hell up in this compound needs to move in and help these guys. Take a look to see what how the IS is set up inside here. I am very low life though. There's your HVT right there. It's got the G3 out. Guys look the wrong way. There's a couple guys in the field over here. Contact spotted uh, northwest along the, along the north side. Oh, you just called them out. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to link. Well, we got a standoff here. Uh, this has got to. This has got to push in here. Yeah, uh, we need a minute to kind of reorganize and formulate a plan. Where we took out that lodge, infantry is going to clear the back road. north. Showed us no mines. Yeah, back north. Uh, yeah, squad lead. Given that uh, they took in the compound, the contact. This is still. I got that MRAP. They can move that up. Yep. Maybe that's what uh, Satan is doing back there. He's going to load up and come help out the guys. And that's going to slowly pull up behind us. All right, I'm going to bring yeah, the looks like you're going to dismount and go on foot. Yeah. Nope, nope. Yep. Copy. Don't forget what you're oh, I see what they're going to do. They're going to do a little route clearance for the MRAP so they don't run out of... That's yeah, smart. I don't think there's any mines on that route, so it's going to take them a bit. Meanwhile, the I, meanwhile, the INS is sweeping the outside. The US doesn't have a good security or watching the rack side, they might get popped. This guy's got the right idea. Use some kind of concealment. He's got some cover here by the bridge. This guy's stuck though. He's wide open. Probably feels like any opening he crosses, he can get shot from. So kind of like round one. Once we see these comp, hold them tight. It's pretty hard to breach. Got some antsy soldiers over here. They want to get into the action, but smart play here is just to wait. Wait for everybody to get on. Get that firepower going. Pushing west. Bridge. Bridge clear. Cross. We took concert. Now concert. there's you got Satan doing a little route clearance. Still about about maybe three minutes away from getting into the action here. I'm gonna spread out into the rest of the US team is just sitting here waiting.
came from north. Yeah, the MN can't see the mines. You just see a yellow cross, you know, crossbones, but uh, you don't know if it's a mine or an IED, but it, it marks it. Yeah, They're doing route clearance. There's nothing up there. The only IED that or mine that's left is down by that southern compound there. Actually, might be an IED. You can chill on the road just to the north, just my front here, and then. Uh... Copy. Two guys on the outside just been sitting here. I seem like eternity to just sitting here. <laughs> uh, these two two eyes two INS are uh, getting really close to the US on the compound here. Put themselves in some concealment. Pretty smart, right? US is gonna get on the walls, try to push in, and then you've got a couple guys on the outside who'll just rake them down. So one of the cool things about the uh, squad ops events is they're a little bit more tactical than your typical vanilla play. So a little bit slower pace as we're seeing here. I mean, er everybody's checking the angles, they're checking the roads. They don't want to lose this uh, MRAP to mine. It's the one asset they have left that might make a difference or help them get a quick, quick exfil once they clear out this compound. Oh, I saw that. Just watch out, maybe friendly that road. It's opening up finally. And wraps opening up. MRAP is now to your north. We're going to slowly pull it south. I'll let you know when we get guys on that compound. Just, we're still clearing the compounds up here first. Copy. So there's two NIS. They're just waiting. Got a full squad here sitting in the south. These two little guys out here. Sounds like they're going to slowly move up the MRAP. INS is being very disciplined, though. They're not they're not peeking corners. They're not trying to go take a look outside what's going on. Everybody's just watching their angle. I got three white full, three bright yellow, mostly full, and one light orange. So I'm still set on ammo. Yeah, we haven't really done a lot of shooting. Yeah, keep us on the right. Yeah, keep us on the right edge of the road and pull us up to the higher corner of the compound. Four, All right, all good over there. Yeah, all okay. safe. Cool. Clear, clear the buildings to the south. All right, we're just clearing one more building, MREP. All right, compound clear. MREP, keep moving south. Let's keep an eyes on the road, Piddle. Make sure there's no uh, there's no mines on the road. And get in a good position, uh, MREP. Hey, sir. All right, on me, guys. Just to my south, there's a, uh, a river, a small river. Down to myself, there are two contacts in that river. 
and the field right next to it. I'm going to put some tracer in. Looks like have get, re get ready to engage. Satan spotted those two guys in the riverbed there. I'm going to get into a better position. Hold up. Okay, I'm firing. Get ready. What are they, what are they going to do with this information? Are you going to use the MRAP? Suppress them. We're going to have the guys in the southern compound throw a couple grenades out. Well, that's a good one. I took out one of them. We have friendlies directly across the river. That was it. <laughs> well, it took about 60 rounds, but they finally got that last guy. This is getting a little nervous here. The MRAP opened up. They didn't know what was going on. They got the right idea here. They got to be surgical. They don't have the numbers to uh, just brute force their way into the compound. So taking it slow, clearing all the outside angles, make sure, making sure that these guys, like they were set up, aren't going to come up and nail them when they're on the walls ready to do the final assault. Any intel yeah, off that's... those blueberries? I'll be uh, lots of smoke. I'll be smoke, 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 smoke. smoke is friendly. All right, we got a friendly for smoke. All right, we're gonna pull down. Talk, talk to the fucking blueberries. Uh, get some intel from you. Hear these guys talking to each other over here. Hey, bird, what do you see? so you guys could push. Yeah, do you know anything? Yeah, they're watching this corner right here. That's I've tried to peek it twice. It's rough. Yeah. I'm gonna put a frag in there just for safe measure. Yeah, this is the first one. Uh, Bob this was right really, they were holding this, this opening right here, Cut but, uh, right. smoke's up, right, so. two and three, clear the south know. side and make it up to us. Uh, Copy, moving. Uh, uh SL, we need to get in the vehicle. Squad three, you might want to smoke the river. On the <laughs> east, uh, but they're watching the river. Rip. Radio squad leader for a vehicle claim. Right now, yeah, they're not watching them right now, though. All right, looks like he's just moving now. They just pied him. Oh boy. Who comes down? Just killed the guy in the road. Yeah, that's their frags. Hold this, hold this. Copy. I think this guy's gotten at least two kills. The fob is definitely in this building. Uh, keep pulling north. When it's smoke out. Another nade going out. We got him. Got some shrapnel off that one. Here's another one. Okay, that's two frags. Yeah, they're starting to make contact on the south now. I think he's down. Do you want smokes? Right to that. Yeah, I'm throwing 
Are we allowed Careful. to dig down sandbags and barbed wire? A lot of smoke coming in. Oh, this is in the compound now on the south side. Three and two, are you we, guys good? Yeah, are we allowed to dig down sandbags and barbed wire? Sabari, push through the yeah. here. You can do that. You go, Brian. Hey, Brian, here, thug, here. go. Shovels on me. Oh, shovels on me. Let's go. Over here. Move, I'll cover. Listen, don't go on this right side. Yeah, too close. There's nowhere to move. They're too close to each other. Okay, I'm digging down. Ooh, I just just got that M wrap in its sights. It's about to pop. Hold on a bit. Watch him needing you, right? Covered his ass. That was the roof, buddy. Yep, it was right. A lot of smoke going on. Medic, medic, I'm bleeding. Medic, I'm bleeding. It's not an injury. It's not an injury. It's a fucking window. Alright, get us another. One nade in there, and they'll get that Dishka guy. Looks like they hit a couple guys in here. So one of them banishing one of them dead. Do it, dude, do it. They got that Jishka gunner. I think the Emrap shot him through the opposite window that the Jishka was shooting him. Oh, man. And they're going to try this, this again. Oh, what? Well, HVT is still up. There he is, right there. Watch an entry, watch an entry. Do you think most do you think there are enemies left in Petro with natives? Just a cut. A lot of action. I'm just gonna stop right here and just watch these guys. Keep clearing. Everyone, keep clearing. Yeah. Yeah. There's one more guy in this room. I'm trying to push the HVT, and he got taken out. Dead. Uh, you hear that G3 going off. He's got a full auto. Just took out another guy. He's all low. The HVT is now. The US has breached the room with the fob in it, too. All I have to do is dig this up and they can get out of here. It looks like the HVT is laying down. The one, two, three INS left. Now we're down to two INS, the HVT and this guy over here. Take it slow, take it slow. That's a good window. <laughs> there's one guy to the southwest. Good, there's one guy to the southwest in that compound. In the sandbag? Right there, one guy. Copy that. Copy that. Straight yeah, Oh, there he goes. He's getting curious what happened to his uh, his uh, team. He's starting to look around for them. No, no, just any enemy cover right. down. Bob, Bob's down. Take Bob it slow, down. take it slow. I'm gonna drop smoke. I'm gonna drop There's only one left here. If they're smart, they would just stay here and push him and their mission to be accomplished. Balloon, balloon. 
on, come over here. Let's take down our position. All right, they're not on watch our back. fob, so they watch must be in here. Let's keep clearing. Take it slow and just watch your sectors. There's anybody right. to the west over here? I'm Satan. Up with Miyamoto. Five U.S. One insurgent. Okay. These buildings to the uh, east, southeast here. Yeah, yeah. Copy. I'll make that six. Six okay, U.S. I'm one insurgent. I'm gonna distract with the uh, shoveling over here. And. Uh, Watch, for, watch, for watch for nades. Watch for nades. Wait. Watch the windows, watch the doorways that are to my southwest. Watch the windows, watch the doorways that are to my southwest. There you go. Lower Someone floor. just let out. You better out. get prone. You better get prone, guys. You better get prone or else they're gonna kill you. Top. That door, just watch it to the southwest. That door, just watch it to the southwest. Nobody wants to move forward. They're playing games now. It is a window. They're trying to draw them out with some shovel yeah, noises. <laughs> on mm -hmm. Oh, it is yeah, window. door's here. Oh, Come on, door's window. Here. Here door's on me. The door's HVT on me. has to know he's the last here one. On <laughs> he's not going anywhere. Goddamn window. Ah, we, we're good. You can see through the window now, can't you? Just watch out. Might be someone in it. Dude, I think it's clear. I saw this shit earlier. Okay. Oh no, you can see in the other way. This is nothing. This is outside. Let's push in. Okay. You guys gotta be here. Keep clearing. Keep clearing. The, the right side is here. Yeah. We're gonna, gonna find him. Push. It's right around this corner. Wait, we want to set our. He's in there. He's in there. He's in there. Right here. Shit. Anyone got a frag left? Option, Zabari option. to me, Zabari to me. Right here, Zabari right to here. Me right now, I need a frag. This door. Frag. Copy that, with right click or left click? This door. Right, uh, left click, that door. You see Moose? This door, right here. Right. Okay, everyone get That's ready to breach. That's it, this is over. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> let's go, let's breach, go, let's breach, go. Breach, 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 breach. GG. <laughs> Wow, that was a tense round, let me tell you. Good fucking shit. Here we go. We did look good for the U.S. there after they breached that first compound and lost a squad or two, but they finished it out with some patient work, some good teamwork there at the end. Thank you, buddy. You got bonds that was good when it was. All right, so it sounds like we're going to try to get the commanders in here, get some feedback on what they were thinking, how it was out there for them. Uh... This is the Squad Ops, man. If you're interested in joining us and playing in those tense moments, check us out, squadops.gg. Like I said, uh, all the ops this month, except for Nightmare, which actually, <laughs> Nitro is kind of best based on that Operation Nightmare. Uh, all the ops this month are one done, so we, we won't see them again until maybe next year, unless there's an outcrying in the community saying they want to see Operation Nitro again. So... Watch it back. Watch the videos from earlier today. We ran it uh, for the EU session earlier. So. <laughs> Waste of ammo at the end. Well, I think through all that, they, they may have just wanted to burn off some steam because that was pretty intense. I mean, it's uh when you're there first person and you're clearing window to window it's it gets really crazy so this wednesday we've got operation metal monsters that's another one and done op you're not going to see it again and then on saturday we have operation uh rising ghosts which is uh well it's another operation that uh, a lot of the uh, staff and uh, the regulars that saw it are really excited about so hopefully if you watch this saturday you come out next saturday and watch it watch that up so Wednesday and Saturday, new ops. So come out and watch those also. All right, we have uh, we have the ruin here. He was the the command. He was the actual the last man standing there, right, Larue? I was. That was uh, that was very interesting. How many people were left alive? Six U.S. You nailed the one of them, so they only have five left. And was Zabari's nade that came in the door? Oh, that was. I thought I thought I got behind cover when I saw the nade come in. What? 
Yeah, that was really intense. I mean, it was kind of like there was a, a firefight and there was a lull for like a few minutes and then there was another firefight and another lull. And I think when the U.S. breached that southern compound, they, they figured it was game over for because they figured they had gotten it. But uh, you guys wiped off at least nine players in that push. And so after that, they were kind of stunned, like, where are we going to go now? And then it was just pretty intense. So uh, let's talk about round one. <laughs> The, the stream named it uh, Camp Nasty, that FOB location in round one. <laughs> I'm glad I learned the name. You guys got to watch the video back. It was pretty crazy for the U.S. to try to get in there and try to clear that compound. What was that? What was going on in your in your thoughts when you guys were trying to get through that compound there? Um, so for me, we uh, originally we had called them out in that compound, so we were calling mortar strikes on them and. Um, it wasn't until after I died that I realized the mortars were ineffective because the whole building, the whole compound is basically building sheltered. So uh, we didn't actually get anyone with the mortars, which was unfortunate. And just they had a really good defense. They had people watching every door. It was kind of just, I'm like, guys, throw smokes, throw frags, let's try and breach. And one by one, we were slowly picked off. I want to know how the HVT died on that one because it uh, seemed like, well, did you get a random shot through the murder hole or something? Uh, I may or may not have followed my scout up on the roof to have a little bit of a, you know, a nice breeze. Oh, I see. Okay. There, there was literally <laughs> no reason for me to be up there other than I wanted to look around. Right, right. I was like, that's crazy because there's like over 12 guys in that compound or something. And it's like, how did he get shot out of all of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I heard gunfire over on the um, southeast. And I decided, well, you know what? I haven't done anything all around. I want to shoot this G3. So I'm going to hop up on the roof, maybe peek down, kill someone. The moment I crested, I got popped by a guy watching the doorway. Well, I'll tell you what, trying to just watching the US try to clear that compound was, was uh, pretty crazy. They get like eight guys lined up and they'd be left with two. And then another squad would join him and then be left with two. is pretty crazy. Well, let's yeah. talk about round two. Let's talk about round two because that one was a little different. So uh, it looked like uh, it looked like you went with like a full platoon push. What was it? What was your thought on that one? Well, thought on that one was we were going to put up the COP close enough to Moss that I don't have to worry about dedicating anyone to the north to clear any compounds because I don't need anyone on uh, Hemp Farm or any of that to clear it for a COP. And I didn't expect a full push to the north because I can spot that easily from the Moss Tower. So I just had everyone push down south. Uh, once I thought i figured i at the beginning i saw a lodgy leave the southernmost compound so i assumed that was where they had uh decided to fortify and i got info saying that there was uh sandbags there so i didn't put two and two together quick enough and i just ordered the assault so we assaulted thinking we'd kill uh command quick enough all these guys were probably in the north or whatever just spread around so maybe we get in there and kill them quick enough that we can exfil back and hold but turns out you were one compound north and uh that's when the camping match began. Yeah, that was pretty intense. Well, any last final thoughts on Operation Nitro? If I could go back and do round one differently, I would have blitzed it rather than take it really slow because I didn't realize how defendable those compounds were until uh, actually seeing them once I had died. I actually, I, I liked the, the way that you kind of walked in the mortars and kind of pre-mortar compounds before the actual infantry got to them. I thought that was smart. You kind of walked it uh, towards the enemy and uh, it's just trying to clear out that that last compound and just ate up your guys. Yeah, for yeah sure. that, that's Yeah, Sightless did a really good job commanding and it. it was his first job commanding everyone. So uh, congrats to him on some nice W's. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be the last. Yeah. Any thoughts for you, Sightless? Uh, great op. I can't wait for next year when it's run again. Uh, hope, actually, you know what? Honestly, I, I would love to see this become just a regular op next bit. Uh, people seem to really enjoy it, and I thought it was the dynamic of it was really good. Well, so put it out to the community. Around. The community demands that it'll happen, and otherwise it won't. <laughs> oh. Well, let's, let's get a big thanks to all the cameras we had tonight. Uh, their point of views are, make this uh, stream awesome. Uh, all thanks to the uh, squad leaders and the command that helped all the guys sort out and get a get tactical out there. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Penn, the man behind the, the scenes here, makes it all happen, make this stream 
the awesomeness it is. So uh, big shout out to him. And uh, thanks for all the participants that came out tonight and uh, hopefully you all enjoyed it and had some memorable moments. This is Squad Ops. Visit us at squadops.gg. Join us on Discord if you've got any questions. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>